Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Relatable Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Meatball Craft Dimensional Ascension. So off camera, um, I decided that our cursed earth farm that we made in last episode, I wanted to move it down and it's extremely loud apparently. And this guy's trying to kill me. Everything wants to kill me in this mod pack. Um, but at lower levels we get mobs from Divine RPG to drop stuff like this, which is super convenient that that just happened but yeah uh this guy's huge <laughs> i've got it the size of a maxed out range add-on um and it's just connected via an ender tank and an ender chest up to our network um and apparently it's extremely loud i've had my volume turned down most of the time until now um it just comes in right here gets pumped into our network and we've got a lot of Nice things from it, like torches. Yeah. But also we get like Arlamai and real my and uh Rupee, which all of that's pretty nice. Anyways, I want to start today's episode off by finding our first boss. Our first non Minecraft boss. Um I have no idea what to expect. I haven't seen this thing. I have no idea what this thing is. But it was a quest, and I thought maybe we could do it. So, I don't know if we're supposed to do it in the nether. The Twilight Horde's influence over the happenings of this world are crazy. It appears their spies are on Terra. It appears their spies on Terra are based in the nether world. They probably already communicated with their superiors about me. I have to cut communication at all costs. And I guess we get... I don't know. I don't know if we get anything out of it that goes... Oh, watch your eyes. And then down the road we'll be able to make this stupid one. Alright. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go and find us an area that's going to be away from our base. And safe to fight this thing. And we'll get back whenever I feel like I'm prepared. Alright. We are plenty far away from the base now. Um, I don't even remember which direction it is. But we're way out here. Um, I, I mean, I, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know. I brought an extra one in a mob imprisonment tool so that we can maybe try and farm them. But we'll see, I guess. Let's just... Oh, so it can only be spawned in the nether. So let's go do that. All right. So we're here in the nether. I set up the mega torch. Um, so maybe nothing else will bother us. But I guess let's get right into this. Okay, this doesn't seem like it'll be too bad. I'm just gonna wear it out with this thing. It's so loud. I'm gonna turn that down some. Um, hostile creatures. I'm gonna turn that to like 10%. So, I mean, can I get in there and hit it with my sword? Yeah. This is gonna be a long fight. And it doesn't seem like it's very interesting. Alright, I've got this guy down kind of on his last leg now. Um, it was pretty much how I expected. The fight was not very interesting. Um, I just really don't want him to die over lava because I want to be able to get his stuff. <laughs> Come on, get over here. There we go. Just like so. Um... Yeah, I mean, that's it. That was the, that's the fight. Hopefully, nothing important went into fire. Um, I guess as long as yeah, we got the eye and we got a statue. Um, I don't know what else is supposed to drop. It looks like there's some stuff in here. We got a medium skill crystal grants skill to your lowest skill point. Sure, I'll take it. And we got a bunch of netherite. We got some divine shards. So that's cool. Um, We needed that for something. Was it the EMC link that I was looking at? No. I don't even remember what I was looking at. Maybe we didn't need it just yet. Oh, it was this that I was looking at. That's right. Yeah. Because I think that does a pretty good bit of damage. 
Um, and it can be super enchanted, which is pretty sweet. But it also will be used down the road whenever we get to make our gem armor. But that's a long way because we're going to have to get to uh, Elementium, which requires like completely playing through Botania. But yeah, I mean that was that was the boss fight. Um, pretty uh pretty anticlimactic, honestly. Thought it was gonna be more interesting. Here's a little wizard guy. We'll take him out real quick. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, what is this thing? Dead. That's what it is. Um, I guess we'll just head back to the base and see where we want to go from there. Alright, so to make yourself the Book of Shadows, which I believe is going to be our uh, manual for this mod. Yep. You're going to need... You're going to need to break some grass and get you the seeds for mandrakes and hellebores. And I think there's a few different seeds that you'll need from Bewitchment. Um, and I, honestly, I don't even know what all there are. I've got five of them planted right now. Um, but I don't know how much we're going to use them right now. Um, but I'm going to read through this book for a little bit and figure out what we're going to need to do here. Alright, so here we go. I put some of these empty jars in there. Those aren't too bad. Just got to do some mining. And I'm assuming that now we should be able to get the uh, recipe that we're going for. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So that's what we want is that cloudy oil. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use our cauldron... No, distillery. Oh, so we need tallow. So we do need a cult. No, we can do a witch's oven. So we can do some beef. I think we've got some some kind of animal. Something we can use. Chickens or something. Oh, yeah, we should have plenty of chicken. And I'll be able to get some of that tallow. Um, basically, my goal is to get this uh, machine controller or machine casing today. Um, I don't see why we shouldn't be able to get it. But our first step is this... Uh, Fiery Augment. Nope. Fiery un Unguent. I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyways, we need some of this tallow, so I'm just going to grab some chicken. I think that should work. And uh, we'll get this bad boy fired up and see if we can't get this recipe going. Well, guys, we made a boo-boo. I made a boo-boo. <laughs> uh, well, I don't even know if I necessarily made a boo-boo, but I lost like three clips. <laughs> Um, and in those three clips, I made the, uh, the machine frame thing that we were trying to make. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what happened. Um, but I finished up our bewitchment stuff over here. Um, I made the cloudy oil and, uh, turned that into the, uh, fiery stuff. And then, um, we made in steel. Which was a uh, dark steel, in stone, and obsidian in the alloy smelter. So it's not too bad of a recipe. Um, yeah, here you go, just like that. Um, and then we made that in steel machine frame. And I don't remember what it's called. Is it called? Yeah, machine controller, um, machine casing. Yeah. So we we made everything for that. Um, we made the fluxed armor plating. That was um. Using our magma crucible to get some destabilized redstone. Let's see, destabilized, destabilized redstone. Get it in a, a bucket, or you can just do it this way. Um, I used a bucket in a crafting table, but you can also do it this way. You can use a fluid transposer, and um, electrum dust or electrum blend. Uh, that'll make fluxed electrum blend, and then diamonds, fluxed crystals. Uh, you use the fluxed electrum blend and an induction smelter with sand to make these electrum ingots. Turn that into plates with a compactor. And then you need these fluxed armor platings. Um, so I got all of those made. And I made our first machine controller. I don't think we're going to put that to use today. Um, actually, I wanted to do some exploring and try and find... There's some thing that um, it spawns in the woods. I've seen them before. Um, but I've never fought one, but they spawn bats. And the reason that I want to get bats is because to get the, um, dark solarium jet plate, these, actually, these thrusters, you need this flight control unit, and you need a bat soul vial to make that. So I'm going to have to find a bat. 
And I think that there's a mob that spawns bats. So I'm going to try and find that. And once I find that, I'll let y'all know. Alright, so I found what we were looking for. Um, well, I thought I did. Yeah, here it is. It's one of these things. Um, it doesn't show anything on J uh, or Wayla or whatever, but I think you right click it. Or maybe you just attack it or break it. There you go, you break it. And I guess this guy spawns different uh, mobs and stuff. But I was told that sometimes it'll spawn bats. So that's what I'm hoping for is that it'll spawn some bats. Maybe I've got to kill the mobs that it spawns before it will. I'm not sure. I don't want to kill it. There we go. Oh, I had it. Now I'm taking damage. Got it. Okay. That's all we needed. Now we can kill this guy. Oh, and apparently it turns into a bunch of bats. A bunch of stuff around here. I can't even fight this thing. I don't know which bat it is I'm supposed to be attacking. Oh, there it is. Jeez. So does it like teleport? What happens? Oh, there it is. Oh. Interesting. I don't know what this is. I don't know where that thing went. There it is. Oh, and it teleported again. Where did it go this time? It keeps running from me. almost dead this isn't the most uh exhilarating fight there it is and it's dead did it drop anything cool yeah not really but we got our bet so we'll head back over to the base and put that to use let me go ahead and throw all this stuff into the enemy me system and what i'll do is use our mob replicator to make a couple of bats and then uh, we'll grab them and... Oh yeah, I did find a dragon over there while I was on the way. It's like right next to where we were. I also killed a Cyclops. Not really sure what that does. Um. Alright, so we're going to need soul vials. We need two bats. We'll also have to get two endermen. Um, so I'll just come in here. This should be pretty quick. Oh. I might want to turn this guy off, huh? All right, and now I just grab that soul and grab that soul. And I can turn this back on. And now whenever we put something in there, it'll get killed. And we've got our soul vials for our bats. So. How do we make that flight control thing? So we've got to make this guy, which I think we can make. We need two of those, so we are completely out of dark, uh, whatever. But go like that, go like that in our uh, soul binder here. Use player XP. Just like that, we get another soul vial back, and we get our full flight control unit, and that guy will be used to make our dark solarium thruster. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything else together that we need, and uh, we'll go ahead and get this uh, jetpack made. Alright, I think we're ready. So I did go ahead and I made our um, ender crystal, which was just a soul vial with an enderman and a vibrant crystal and a soul binder. By the way, I don't know if I showed that guy, but it's not too hard to make. Soul machine casing requires some of this stuff. But um, I think we are pretty much ready. I guess I'm going to have to do the recipe on my own. But um, it doesn't look like it's too bad. Thrusters like that. Solarium like that. These wing things right there. And the ender crystal right 
there, and just like that, we've got our Dark Solarian jet plate. And this bad boy is going to be a beast. It's uh, got 12 armor. I believe it might even be enchantable. Uh, let's grab some lapis and go down to our enchantment table. And we'll give it a shot, see if maybe it is. Um, But yeah, this thing is going to be awesome. And I did just kind of beat the mod pack author because he was trying to um, uh, um, gate it. He wanted to gate it like how the other one is. Um, so, sorry if you're watching this, but I beat you. I win. Um, let's go try this bad boy out. Oh, goodness. I think it's going to be pretty fast. It's charging up rather slow. That's okay. Yeah, this thing's sweet, man. Look how fast that is. That's without hover mode. Um, how do I put on hover mode? I don't even remember. But it should have emergency hover mode where if I just go like this. Yeah. Emergency hover mode activated. It's still like stupid fast even with hover mode. I'm, to, It's to the point that I'm lagging. And we're not even generating enough power it doesn't look like to keep it fully charged. But um... Yeah, this thing's pretty awesome. But, um, yeah, I think uh, it's probably going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, this was a shorter episode, I know. Uh, but um, next episode, I'm hoping maybe, maybe, we're going to get into a little bit of Thaumcraft. Now, I've never done Thaumcraft. Never really been a big fan of it. Uh, magic isn't my thing. But we're going to give it a shot. By the way, I made this time in a bottle. It lets me speed stuff up. Pretty easy to make. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to do some base work off camera as well. I think maybe start, it's time to start moving because this is, this is unbearable. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll probably start working on somewhere else, um, to get us a nice base going. Um, but thanks for watching guys. I do appreciate it. If you haven't already join my discord, check out the mod pack curse forge page. And maybe if you decide to join their discord. Um, hope to see you around, guys. See you in the next episode.